This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Cindy Harris and do I have something yummy for you today. I took my grandma's glazed lemon cake and turned them into cupcakes. Now this recipe is a really old recipe and it uses ingredients that I don't normally cook with these days but because the cake is so great I just had to go and share it with you exactly the way my grandma used to make it. So she starts with a box of yellow cake mix and then some lemon jello now it calls for a small three ounce box but i can't find that anymore only this large six ounce box but three ounces is about a third of a cup plus one tablespoon of the lemon jello in with the cake mix and i put that on the mixer to kind of get those two kind of combined together then we're going to add three quarters of a cup of cold water and we're going to let this mixture beat for about two minutes then we want to get our four eggs ready to go. Now you'll notice that I crack an egg into a small bowl and then put it into a, a little bit bigger bowl. And the reason I do this is one time I was making a cheesecake and I was cracking the eggs right into the mixer and some shell um, broke loose and the shell went through the um, cake mix. It wasn't great. So now I do it separately. And then I can just bring that bowl with the four eggs and start dropping them one at a time into the cake batter now once we get all the eggs in we're going to be adding some canola oil about three quarters of a cup now once you get the oil in set your timer for five minutes because we're going to let this cake batter mix for five minutes which seems like a really long time but that's what grandma did so that's what we're going to do so today I'm trying a new non-stick cupcake pan that I got. And so I'm not going to be spraying it like I normally do. I'm just going to be putting the cupcake liners in. So we'll put it to the test today. So after five minutes, we have this beautiful cake batter. And it's ready to come off the mixer and start putting into our little muffin wells. Now I'm using my large cookie scoop because I want to fill these up, not to the very top, but at least three quarters full. Because this is going to puff up really, really nicely. And then once I get one tray done, I'm going to put them in a 350 degree oven for about 22 minutes. Now let's get our lemon glaze ready. Now, when it comes to lemons, my first line of attack is to pick one out of my garden, off my lemon tree. But sometimes they're not quite ready. So in that case, I usually try to get ones that are organic because they have a lot of juice, just like the ones I grow. If you buy just the plain ones at the grocery store, you sometimes have to use more lemons. For this, if you can get nice juicy lemons, we need two of them, and that will make about a quarter to a half a cup of lemon juice, which is about what we need. Also, when I'm squeezing juice like this, I always run it through my little strainer like this because I don't want any seeds to get into my glaze. Once I have my lemon squeezed, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, measure out a cup and a half of powdered sugar. Now, I Grandma didn't bother sifting it or anything, so I'm not going to either. But I'm going to take that powdered sugar, put it in a little medium-sized bowl, and then pour that lemon juice on top. That's all this glaze is, so you can imagine it is really lemony. 
And then what I do is I just get a tablespoon and I slowly start mixing that powdered sugar and lemon juice together. Now once it starts coming together, then I take my tablespoon and I take the back of that spoon and I kind of press down when I see some of these little lumps of powdered sugar. And you just do that for a minute or so and pretty soon you have a pretty smooth glaze that'll work just fine on these cupcakes. Now that the cupcakes have come out of the oven and they look beautiful, we need to get a long skewer because we are going to poke each cupcake hot out of the oven eight to ten times. Now I know it seems like a very wrong thing to do, but you'll notice the cake doesn't deflate. It's made to do this. So use your skewer and poke each one eight to ten times. That's going to help let our glaze seep all the way through that delicious cake. Now, once you have all the cupcakes poked with the skewer, now we're going to start putting the glaze on. And you do this kind of slowly. We're going to take your a tablespoon of the glaze and just slowly put it on the cupcake and sort of use your spoon to kind of circle around and help it soak into the cupcakes. Now, we're going to do this two times. So what I do is I go through the whole um, pan of cupcakes, give everybody one coat of glaze, and then go back and give everybody a second coat. Now it's really interesting. You can see I've already given these cupcakes one glaze, but they don't hardly look at it. This is not a thick white glaze that you're going to see on the top, but it does seep down into that cake. Well, these cupcakes turned out so beautiful and they're so lemony and light. Everyone just loves them. I think grandma would be really pleased to see that I took her original cake and turned it into cupcakes. And by the way, I think the nonstick cupcake pan worked pretty well too. Now, if you'd like to get the recipe, just go to our website. I'll see you next time.